Half volley, four runs. Lusty's pulled one out. Beautifully timed shot there from Roy Fredericks. And Fredericks reaching with the boundary. The uphill's quite quick here. Good Yorker, the clip through, four runs, no doubt, a hesitation at all about it. Big gap at mid on, and Roy Fredericks goes through to his test match century. Lovely shot that, and it's four runs, boycott. I think got his fingers to that. There's a good stroke from Fredericks. That's it, off the angle back, run it gently down to third man. Back high in the air, 150 to Roy Fredericks. The marathon performance it's been, 477 minutes has been out there. This includes 17 fours. It's a lovely shot for four runs. No way Barlow could pick that up. No need to chase that. It's a very, very good stroke. That's a lovely stroke. Wasn't a bad ball, Pocock gave it plenty of air. Looks like a pair of fingernail scissors. Nothing better than your fingernails, a bit of a snip before you bowl each over. Although I remember Harry Hopman, the great uh, Australian tennis coach, refused to allow any of his players to have a haircut or cut their nails before a big match. Perhaps he could have done with uh, that extra bit of fingernail because Roy Fredericks is just hitting for six. Pocock to Fredericks. Oh, that's a glorious shot down the wicket. Beautifully middle by Roy Fredericks. Another boundary to him and he goes through to the coveted 100. Roger Harper is coming on. Piece of feeling there, absolutely fantastic, and uh, goes two yards out of his ground playing the shot, and no chance of getting back. Hit the stumps on the return. You won't see a better piece of feeling than that ever. I don't think. Magnificent. Just watch. And I think Graham Dukes had half an idea that he would have struck that ball and it might have been a tricky decision for the umpire if he had but he let it go by and it was dead on. Mm -hmm. 